up with HR's EJO E Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. Here we go. I'm on to a new country right now. Somebody requested for me to do this about wanting me to do some facts about Nigeria. So guess what? I'm here, y'all. We here, right here with Nigeria. Okay? Because I don't know anything about Nigeria except Nigeria. What? What do I know? I don't know. I know something. I just can't think of it. Somebody's from over there. Was Wiz Kid over there? And Wiz Kid is from over there. Wait, Wiz? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> look at me. I'm tripping though, all right? Anyways, let's check this out, all right? This is 12 incredible facts about Nigeria. Let's get it. <clears throat> In this episode of FTD Facts, we're journeying into the continent of Africa and exploring the Federal Republic of Nigeria, commonly known simply as Nigeria. It's a land filled with music and colors and beautiful people. What's happening everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton and I've wanted to give you guys facts about Nigeria for a long time. A lot of you guys requested I always think it's funny whenever I see something like that, when you be like, oh, of beautiful people. Like just giving them compliments. Like, yeah, you like me, huh? I always thought that was hella crazy. Like all the time. Okay. So now let's take a look. Before we get into the facts, guys, I wanna know, when you think of Africa, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For me, it's the food, like jollof rice. Oh my God. Goodness, so good. All you Nigerians watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. Now the name Nigeria, where did it even come from? Nigeria gets its name from the river Niger, and that actually is the largest river in West Africa. The name was coined by a late 19th century British journalist named Flora Shaw. Now the river covers- Yo, it's natural, man. Whenever people see the um, first time I saw the word Niger, you already know what I thought it. You already knew what the what came to my mind. I didn't even know it was called Niger. I looked at it like it was said the other way. All right. Anyways, it's a distance of 2,600 miles and runs into the Atlantic Ocean via the Gulf of Guinea. After it passes through a huge delta known as the Niger Delta. Now the Niger Delta is the second largest delta in the world. Nigeria is also a very multicultural place. There are over 500 ethnic groups in Nigeria, and the three largest of those are Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. But not just multicultural, it's also multilingual. Nigeria has 7% of the total amount of languages spoken on Earth. Although the official language in Nigeria is English, there's also 600 distinct language groups there. So it's very multicultural, very multilingual, but when it comes to religion, there's like three of them. All right, not just three of them, but they have the three basic religions, and that's Islam, Christianity, and the traditional religion there. Islam is prevalent in the northern part of Nigeria. Christianity is heavily practiced in the eastern part of Nigeria, as well as in the middle of the country. And we have the traditional religion. According to history, Islam was introduced to Nigeria by a trader from Mali, and Christianity was introduced by British missionaries. This country of Nigeria is also at times considered to be the giant of Africa. Africa. But why? Okay, so let's take a look. Nigeria has a very large population and economy. It's the most populous black nation in the earth, as well as the seventh most populous country in the world with a population of 180. I didn't know that about the population. I did not know that. I get, I did not know that. Wow of 189 million people at the time of filming this. And did you also know that nearly half the population of Nigeria is younger than 15 years old? The Yoruba ethnic what? group has the highest rate of twins in the world. Igbo Ora, which is a little town in the Oyo state, has been nicknamed the twin capital of the world because of its unusual high birth rate for twins. They estimated it's about 158 twins per 1,000 births. Yeah, that's pretty high. Now, many people do speculate that this high birth rate is due to the large consumption of yams by Nigerians. But then again, that's just a rumor. Yams are good for you though. Eat your yams. I love them. Food, oh my gosh. 
Despite its large population, Nigeria is still largely a rural country. Only 48% of the population actually live in cities. The walls of Benin, constructed from 800 to 1400 AD, is located in the present Edo state. These walls are the largest ancient earthworks in the world and probably the largest man-made structure on earth. They enclose 6,500 square kilometers of land and they're over 16,000 kilometers long. Originally, the walls of Benin were thought to be twice as long as the Great Wall of China. However, back in 2012, after very careful measuring, it was announced that, you know, the Great Wall of China is still the longest wall ever. And that measures at 21,000 kilometers long. Now, according to the World Resources Institute, Nigeria is home to 4,715 different types of plant species and over 550 species of breeding birds and mammals. Now let's talk about the movie really? industry in Nigeria. The movie industry, dubbed Nollywood, is the second biggest movie industry in the world. My daughter, I did not see the fire when you saw it. Now this is in terms of production of movies. First we have Bollywood in India, Nollywood in Nigeria, and then Hollywood in America. And in fact, Nollywood produces up to 50 movies a week. And in terms of the output, that is over a thousand movies annually. Okay, so let's check out these numbers. 010101. Those numbers actually refer to the meals of the day. So if you have 010, it means that you skip breakfast and dinner, but you have lunch. And if you have 101, that means you have breakfast and dinner, but you skip lunch. Now we know that Nigeria has a very rich culture and a huge economy, but who's the richest person in Nigeria? Here's a Nigerian billionaire, Aliko Dangoti. It's always better to be humble. You know, they say that no condition is permanent. He's estimated to be worth $12.1 billion, according to the latest reports. He's the CEO of the Dangoti Group, and currently he's 59 years old. Now this brings us to the end of our first journey of Nigeria. Definitely tons more to look at in this country. So if you have any facts for any future parts of Nigeria, you can send them to our email at ftdfacts at gmail.com. And also let me know down below if you do want a part two. Okay, I heard there is part two. Anyways, to all my Nigerian people, what's up, you guys? I'm happy I was able to learn a little bit right there. Um, that's crazy how they had the numbers, how they had the 101 and the 010, how they, um, he kind of didn't make sense. Like, what, how do people just, what, do you just write that out? Which I'm sure nobody does. But as far as the languages and Nollywood, I would have never guessed that. That's crazy with how popular entertainment is out there. And, um, yeah, man, that's one thing I will tell you about Africa. Everything is all new to me, and every country is different. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to sound like stupid because how you know it's less like other countries, but every country is different. I did not know that. Obviously, this is all new to me. You feel me? I'm happy I was able to look at this, y'all. You already know what it is, Nigeria. What's up with it, y'all? All right, we gone.